a book haul. Hey guys, okay, so we just got back home from the mall. We had some food, we walk around, and then we also went to Barnes & Noble, and I have a book haul uh, for you. So I actually went a little crazy, but these are all the books that I have been wanting to read that I didn't have, and these are going on my uh, TBR for 2023. First book that I picked up is Before the Coffee Gets Cold by Toshikazu Kamaguchi. Um, so this book is actually very popular right now. It has a lot of amazing reviews. It says over 1 million copies sold. Uh, and so on this book, you kind of are exploring um, loss and grief and second chances as well. You go to this coffee shop and you get to kind of travel in time and you can go back to the past and kind of uh, maybe spend some time with somebody that is no longer with you. Um, and you can only do that before your coffee gets cool. So you only have this little chance, this little time um, to travel back in time. And so, yes, yeah, so I really wanted uh, to read this one for a while now. And this a little bit of a short uh, story, smaller format. So hopefully I will be able to read that quickly. Um, the next book that I got is The Bloody Chamber, and this is by Angela Carter. And I really don't know much about this book other than it's gothic. And again, it just sounded beautiful. It has, again, amazing reviews. And when I picked up this book and I read the first page, I know this is a book that I'm definitely going to love because it just has a lot of beautiful writing. It's um, very elegant, very intricate, and I really, really want to read this book. So then I picked up a couple of horror stories. So this right here is The Ghost Eaters, and this is by Clay, uh, my Cleod Chapman. I am absolutely means pronouncing that um, but that is this book and this sounded so interesting so on this book it says pop a pill see the death and side effects might occur so it sounds really interesting like a little bit of science fiction mixed to it as well so i think on this book we are following this lady who is having a hard time disconnecting or sending boundaries with her ex uh, boyfriend and then he is always in and out of rehab and i think he passes away and then she did have that closure to talk to him and there is this pill that you can take and you can see the dead and talk to the death and so i think she starts taking these pills and then the book is about that and the side effects but it also sounds really like scary i don't know but the cover definitely got me it looks really scary and then the next book that i picked up is how to sell a haunted house by grady hendrix another one that was a highly anticipated book in my list and i was happy to find it it is quite a a large book it's longer than what i expected but i am super super excited for this book i love everything have the houses and then i picked up a few cozy mysteries um so this one here i think is a cozy mystery it looks like a cozy mystery but it was on the new release section and it says a lush history fantasy delightful so it's kind of like a historical um fiction mystery and it's called a restless truth by freya marshke and this was definitely not on my list i never heard of this book um but once i read the historical fiction mystery 
part of it it just sounded really really good it says magic murder and shipboard romance and um i don't know it just sounded so interesting so i definitely wanted to pick it up and the cover is so so pretty i think this was definitely a cover buy and then i picked up two cozy mysteries these are from the cozy mystery sections and so recently i have been um reading some cozy mysteries and i just really like them because it has a little bit of magic it has the mystery element um, the murder mystery element that i like but i also really enjoy like the descriptions of the small towns or the little coffee shop or like the bed and breakfast descriptions and i just really like all of that so i got two new ones that i think are gonna be really fun reads maybe for Valentine's Day. Uh, and so the first one was again, another cover by, actually these two books were picked by my girls and I read the descriptions and they just look really interesting. Uh, so this right here is called Wedding Bear Blues. And this is by Meg Macy, uh, which I've never read anything from her i have only read a couple cozy mysteries and so i really don't know much about the authors and typically i will buy based on recommendations but you know what i wanted to give it a go and this looks super cute so basically on this book we're following this couple that is recently getting married and i believe the sister of the bride does not get along with the best man and so the best man is found dead and the sister of the bride is to blame so the bride is trying to figure out who actually killed the best man so her sister can come out free and it just sounds so interesting so fun just like a fun read and then the last book the last book that i picked up is murder in a teacup by vicky delani and just look at the cover this was another book that my daughters picked up and so on this book we're following lily and lily is the owner of this uh, tea room shop and she gets a visit from her grandma and then suddenly this becomes into like a family reunion so all her family are staying on this b and b one of the family members appears dead and they are blaming her tea or her tea leaves that she might have put something on the tea that it just sounded super fun and of course the cover is absolutely cute and i just love a fun island mystery and so yeah so this sounded super fun and cute and again who can resist <laughs> the cover and so those are the books that we picked up at Barnes and Noble we also got um, a few little board games and the girls got a couple books as well so I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one